Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, Yunus Shafiri is here and in this video we are going to see the integration of GitHub pull request inside Android Studio and how you can use it effectively. Let's get started. So here I'm having this repository of Lotvi Android, it's just a repository for demonstration purposes and here if you go you will see like your normal project structure, there is this two tabs, there is this commit tab and this pull request tab. Like we use this often in order to, like for example, if you change this file, you can roll back files here, you can do refresh, you can do diff, showing differences between what have changed and so on. Well, of course, here you can do some comments, some amend, and so on. But there is another integration called pull request, in which you can see pull requests, so you can do code reviews more effectively. So here, if like for the first time for a repository, I can do this view pull request with my GitHub account here. I can do this view pull request. And once I do that, there is loading tab will happen here. And you will see like, for example, this repo doesn't have that many, I don't know that many open state. I will show everything here. So as you can see, here is the main repository, Lottie Android. And here you will see that only PR. So you can view it here or you can view it inside Android Studio. If you go here to Android Studio back here, let me just delete that. What you can do first of all, you can do this filters. Now these filters are exactly the same as this. So here it states open if I want to close, if I want only to close PR, I can, I can copy that closed, put it here, close, and it will give me all the closed PR. So you can do all the filtering here. So once you have this PR here, what you can start to do is like you can view them, click on it double times, you will see this description here. Okay, it is the comments from GP here, what is happening. So you can do comments directly from here. That's one thing. Another thing what you can do is you can see the files. You can see the file here, what's changed. You can double click it in order to see another view here. So here you can view this file from Android Studio like that. And you can see what's happening. This line was added. This line was changed. For example, you can use this navigation. Next difference, what happened. This is a unified viewer. Like you can do this side by side viewer in order to see what's the difference look like. Now here's changes. Here's another change. So you can basically add also here some comments. If you click on this, you could start a review with the comment. Like you can write what is happening and everything, everything, and just send it like normal code review process. So that's how you can see what's happening, what's differences between the previous and the new version. And you can also add comments here directly. Now, the main difference between this and the normal code review on the browser is that when you go here, for example, and you see the file, what changed and so on, well, you can see that what has changed, but you can, if you want to reference another file, for example, sometimes this file has changed, another file has changed also. You want to see what is happening in, inside this set in progress internal, which is part of another class. In Android Studio, you can do it like you can go here, for example, see what's happening. You have this navigation features you can do. You can click on this lot drawable and you can go to lot draw. That's the best thing about viewing and reviewing your code directly here from Android Studio. That's the best thing about it. And once you complete your review, you can go here to submit a review, click what you wanted, approve request change or comment, as usual we do in code reviews. And what other thing you can do, if you go here to the info, you can basically check out this branch because usually what happens in PRs is just new branch, branch for features for box, so on. So what you can do is like, you can go here and do this checkout. It will create a branch and it will check out so you can see the code at that moment in that branch. That's also another feature. You don't have to do it by hand. You can have to create a feature that pull the changes and see, you can do that here. Finally, you can see like normal comment, what happened and so on. So basically with this integration, you can do pull request reviews much, much faster. So the features of doing the review here and seeing the navigation between files and so on, give us a lot of productivity value in order to complete the code reviews. So that's it for this short video. I hope that motivates you to start using this pull request directly from here. The best thing about it is, as I said, the navigation purposes and the ability to add reviews directly from here, to navigate between the files in order to see what changes or not, and so on. If you are interested by another video about pull requests and how I do pull requests effectively here in Android Studio using templates and so on, I would be happy to share that. Let me know that in the comment. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.